So what we do in order to tell which horse is which, we put a tattoo on their upper dog. See that number? Uh-huh. Now that number corresponds to the number on their fold paper. Whenever they race, when they walk in the paddock, you'll see somebody lifting up that lift. They're not checking their teeth, they're checking that number. And that's the way we identify horses here in the United States and Canada. What is she busy right now? What the Irish and some Europeans do, oh Charlie, you see these spots right here? Are those, anybody ever have a horse? Nobody? The guy lives in Belmont, don't know what those are. What horse is that? They're called uh, chestnuts. However, here in Kentucky, we don't call them that. We call them night eyes. Now, I'm going to have to say that for you all. Night eyes. <laughs> it's really hard for me to say. What those were was millions of years ago, horses were little tiny creatures. That was another appendage that came out, rather like a thumb. They lived in wooded areas, used that to climb trees with. But over millions of years of evolution, as they got bigger and bigger, those night eyes evolved out of them. But that remnant, if you photograph it, is as unique to each horse as your thumbprint is to you, and that's the way many Europeans do. The Japanese, they implant microchips and scan them with a the gun. <laughs>